This is Lise Nielsen of Artists in the Woods, and thank you for joining me today. We live in the Northern Sierras uh, in California. I look out my window at beautiful sequoia trees and uh, we can drive up over the pass and we love it here in the, in the nature of the Sierras. I just wanted to show you today my studio and how I have optimized a very small space. Our cabin is a two bedroom cabin that we have refurbished, left a lot of the character, the original windows and doors and things like that. I love old things, eclectic furniture, and you'll see a lot of that also in my studio. I'm really excited to show you this because I think it's important to see where I work and how I work and to learn from that also. Um, I've learned from so many great artists and love to see where they work. One of my favorite publications was Where Women Create. And I used to really enjoy looking at these beautiful art studios that women do their art in. I'm going to show you where I create today. I can't wait to show you the studio. So here we go. This is the perfect studio with a whole wall of north facing windows which let a lot of really good light in without the direct sun coming in. Here is the space where I like to look at my art books. Sometimes I sketch in this space. It's just a nice place to uh, ponder what I want to do next. I'll look through my studies. I'll look at my photos sometimes in this space or at this table. Sometimes I'll sketch here or back on the sofa. This actually pulls out into a queen size bed, which almost never comes out. But if uh, by chance we have guests, this is the place where I can, can go ahead and let them stay. Up above here, you will see I've put in these really wonderful shelves that hold my wet paintings or paintings I want to think about and display for a while. I've also got a shelf up here. Oh, I've got some storage. I used an old vintage door to make the closet bigger and have shelves in here. This is my painting corner and I have these partitions that I found. I separated them so that I can use them in two parts and they're movable when I need to move them if I want to uh, hide my supplies from uh, grandchildren who come to visit, then I can just move them in like a closed closet, out of sight, out of mind. So they work really well. I can also hang brushes, um, tools down here. My garbage that I need to empty is down here. I've got my um, aprons, smock, and you can see um, I have a mirror that I hang so that, I don't know if you can see that, but I can see my easel right back there. And so if I want to flip the image of what I'm painting to see what's reading right and what's not, um, that works for that. Here's my chair that I almost never sit in and laptop, which is hooked to uh, the larger monitor and I can use my photo reference there. Easel, which is a large open box M post shod box at this point. When I decide I need to go bigger, I will probably build an easel, uh, wall mounted easel in this space, um, only because one that stands on the floor takes up too much space for in here tried that. 
I have some studies up here on the wall that I may be working with soon. Some tools back in here for precision work. I've got my paper towels and solvent. I've got some drawers that uh, hold different supplies down here. They're old sewing machine drawers. I like to um, use old things and make them into other things. What do they call that? Upcycling. Okay, and I've got brushes, my knives. I have uh, several knives of various sizes that I can pull out. Um, my paint, this is what I want to talk about here. I've got my paint laid out in order by uh, how I use it here on the easel. And um, so it's really easy to just grab the paint that I need when I need it. Um, to go along with this, I have my, my ringer and my pliers here that I use for stubborn paint tubes that, and paint tubes that need to be used up. So that comes in handy. And I have two favorite lights. Both of these lights change in temperature and in strength of light. So that works pretty well. Got my printer, uh, got some uh, recording supplies down in here, which most people don't have to worry about. But somehow I've got to fit all that in here. So I've got a camera up here. I usually have my tripod sitting here with my that mounts my camera on it. And um, the lighting helps a lot with that. Sometimes the I will actually close this curtain from the natural light. I'll let a little bit of natural light in but sometimes it is just too harsh on the painting and these lights work even better than the natural light at times, depending on these. Uh, our neighbor has a white car and so if that sun is bouncing off of the car into the window, it's, uh, it's distracting me. Got my brushes up here, um, panels down here to use for plein air work. I've got gloves down in here. I like to use old pieces of furniture and um, you'll see a lot of that um, as I show you different parts of my living space. I have solvent, uh, liquid for uh, re-wetting my dry surface um, and also as a medium. This is natural um, non-toxic solvent that I like to use and I have extra paint down in here um, and I think I mentioned everything that I keep in these this is where I put the pliers and the ringer so that's pretty straightforward got some old tools from my, from my grandmother's studio that's about it for this corner I do have some canvases down in here to use. Um, I have larger canvases uh, down here. And this is how I keep my paintings that I might come back to. Um, I also have a storage room downstairs, but usually don't use that for a lot of my art supplies. My framing supplies are down there. This is where I keep uh, old paintings that I might want to bring out and work on. Um, here, there are various pochade boxes and wet panel carriers down in here. Uh, some of the watercolor paper. I do sometimes dabble in gouache and so I will be doing some of that. I have some things in storage I need to bring out. I do like to keep a photo file uh, and I print those out at times to help me out with that. I have an old storage cabinet in here that helps uh, and more paintings back in here. I really want things ready to go for, for my work. Yeah, so I think that is about it for the studio tour. I love my studio. 
this really works well for me. We had two garages and we used one garage for a whole studio area. I stained the floor and made it really nice, put a fireplace in there. It was beautiful. But, you know, we had a mortgage at that house. And I am just so pleased that we found this sweet house with lots and lots of character. The old windows are still intact. And yes, it gets cold in the winter, but it's a small house to uh, heat up. So it really is saving us so that we can take those trips during the year, uh, painting trips and uh, spend a lot of time with family. So I'm really happy about this transition. So I just wanted to show you how you don't have to have a grand studio. You don't have to have a, a $3,000 easel. It's just um, make do with what you have and be an artist. Start now. Anyway, this is it. This is my space where I create.